What's going on there guys and welcome to my second video of the day. Uh, the first one, if you guys missed it, it's right there on my channel. I use the Scar H and let's just get straight to business. Now, I'm sorry I'm talking so fast, but uh, in the beginning of this gameplay I was using the PP2000. Now things weren't going so well, so I decided to, you know what, I never used the M27 uh, from the support class, so let me give it a shot. So I did, and uh, it, it turned out to be a pretty decent gameplay. I think I found my sweet spot as far as LMGs go. Uh, this is kind of a clusterfuck of a map. It sort of reminds me of shipment. And you have to be really, really careful. Now, I wouldn't advise using an LMG, but you know what? Every single map for Team Deathmatch uh, that I played on Battlefield 3 has some sort of a spot where you can just pick people off either with a sniper rifle or, uh, or a LMG, which is just perfect. And if this was Call of Duty, that guy charging at me would probably commando knife me and that would be it. Now I'm having a blast on Battlefield 3. My favorite game mode, game mode is Team Deathmatch, guys. Freaking love it. Super fast paced. And you guys have to understand that I, I, I'm not going to play something li like Conquest or Rush if I don't feel the need to. Uh, the reason why I'm, why I'm playing Battlefield 3 is I want to share... Um, the weapons and how to use them in a close quarter situation, something like Team Deathmatch kind of style, uh, with you guys. Um, and yeah, and, and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I will post Rush gameplay and I will post Conquest gameplay, just not at the moment. Uh, my friend is getting Battlefield 3 for the PC, so he likes to play Conquest, so I'm probably gonna bring out PC gameplay um, from, you know, those game modes. Now, if I could ask you guys to please uh, give this video your feedback uh, in, in the form of a rating, I would appreciate that very much. Uh, the reason why I ask from video to video is, is the simple fact that my videos don't get, you know, 15,000 likes or 20,000 likes. It would be really awesome if, if a consistent, you know, view to, well, yeah, view to like ratio would be somewhere of a thousand, like, um, you know, well, I worded that wrong, but a thousand likes per video would be freaking amazing. Um, now, I did, now that I have a good computer, I can deliver you guys sweet ass gameplay, uh, there's gonna be a machinima video dropping from me, so be on the lookout for that. And I just unlocked the holographic side, which I am going to switch to pretty soon. Um, I actually tend to run with the iron sights, I hate the red dot sight on the PP2000, it's just that, and same thing on the M16, but I am, but I am gonna probably end up using the reflex. Um, the reason is that iron sights force me to rush. I'm not, I'm, I'm never gonna get as clear of a view long range versus somebody that's using the reflex side, you know, against me that I'm using the iron side. That's just my two cents. So what that decides, that what that does to me is that I have to flank around, somehow find a way to me, for me to get close to that guy and blast his freaking head off. Uh, now, the M27, as you guys see, is, is tearing through people and actually in the beginning of next game after this one, I was playing on Tehran um, Highway, I think it's called, and <laughs> I'm always scared that I'm gonna be the first to die. Team Deathmatch spawns are ridiculous. I mean, sometimes, literally, the game can spawn you right behind an enemy, right in front of the enemy, right next to the enemy, and it's up to pure luck. But later on, the spawns kind of... I don't know, they play a huge role in the pace of the game, guys, believe me. Um, if it was any different spawns, I think it would slow the gameplay down. It's not like the spawns are really super unfair. I mean, once in a while, sure, but not to an extent like sometimes Call of Duty was. And believe me, I just saw the new weapon proficiency trailer for Modern Warfare 3. Looks freaking sweet, I do have to admit. And again, I am more excited for Modern Warfare 3 uh, than, I, than I was for Battlefield 3, but that does not mean that the game, you know, Battlefield 3 isn't good. Each sort of, uh, and this was just a fail, I thought I was gonna do that animation thing, I thought he was facing the other way, but I got owned, so uh, good for that guy actually, because that was a dumbass mistake by me. And like over here, this is a, a typical example of a pretty bad spawn. Like I was saying, each game has a designated fan base. I am a Call of Duty fan, predominantly. Uh, I am also a Battlefield 3 fan. I mean, what's gonna stop me from playing Team Deathmatch? Not nothing. Unless it says in the title Conquest or Rush, you can almost always expect the Team Deathmatch gameplay. Why? Because I feel the most comfortable playing it. I'm not gonna lie, like, I can give you guys tips and tricks. See, people when they talk out of their ass, but they have n absolutely zero idea what they're talking about, are a big no in my books. That's why I, I decide not to play. There's no tips I can give you guys on Rush or Conquest. I'm just not a Battlefield player. I can tell you how to, I don't know, flank people in Team Deathmatch. I can tell you how, I don't know, uh, win domination or, or, or 
I don't know, go into their spawn, something like that. So ho hopefully you guys kind of understand my point of view as well. I'm trying to deliver every single video, I'm trying to deliver uh, some other variation of, of, of a gun. That's why I decided to use the LMG. And, um, and yeah, that's, pre that's pretty much it from, from that rant. And this guy actually was pretty smart. He laid next to the person that he killed. So he, it, it looked like these two guys were dead from right there. And sometimes my game gets that... Uh, like, I see an enemy, and all of a sudden, a uh, green name appears, and I just spaz out. But I'm really, really happy that Knife is, a thi I think, a three-shot kill, aside from that animation, which is one shot. But I think you have to uh, be behind that guy, like an assassination type of thing. Where you walk behind him, stab him in a freaking jaw or throat or whatever, and, um, yeah, and just destroy him. I like that animation when they're laying down, you turn them over, and you just stab them mercilessly. Uh, I think that's pretty sweet. Battlefield 3, what can I say, guys? It's a must-buy. Final score of this video was, of this gameplay, actually, 23 and 5. Hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave your feedback and subscribe for more Battlefield 3 gameplay and more uh, Modern Warfare 3 gameplay in the future. So I will see you guys next time.